All right, everybody, many of you guys have asked me and gals how to get this back in here if you accidentally pop this out. And it's very difficult, especially when the thing is in the car, to get that back out. Uh, if there is enough room, and you may have to move some things out of the way, you can remove these. Oops, where are we at? Uh oh, there we are. You can remove these plugs on the side, okay? And it takes a T45. And then what you could do once you remove that plug from the side, and you could just, I don't know if I can show you with one hand, it's kind of difficult, but you just push those back and they'll move back. And then don't just don't lose, like there's like a spring in there. See that spring in there? So once you remove both sides, anyways, you're just gonna remove this. Just like that. Be careful because it's gonna be under pressure. So make sure you relieve the pressure on your brake system before you take those out, otherwise you'll be you'll really hurt yourself. And then you can put the uh, put that back in there. straight right there you go and then you can put your uh, your caps back in and you don't even have to actually take those all the way out I think if you just loosen them um, enough you get it so we take that one put it back in take the other one should we get that one back in there now we're pushing it from the other side, so we'll have to probably just do this. Oh, make sure you thread it in right. Don't want to cross thread it right. There we go. And there you go, you're back to uh, back to having that sleeve in there. And now just straighten out on its own. You can straighten out too if it makes it easier to get your, your uh, motor back in. But anyways, that's how you do it. The uh, shaft that goes in there. So, if that happens to you, that's how you can get that back in. Hope that helps you guys.